Hello, everybody. My name is Eric, and today we're going to be quickly talking about the CrowdStrike incident. Now, first of all, on this uh, Wikipedia, this is CrowdStrike. For those of you who don't know what CrowdStrike does, which uh, if we go over to the other page, uh, th this will not be on Wikipedia for long, but I just thought this line was kind of funny. Uh, I mean, of course, a lot of people know what CrowdStrike is. Stock traders certainly know what it is, <laughs> and they certainly know if they had it in their portfolio what it is, but okay, so... CrowdStrike make a lot of products, but the product at fault here is this one, which is called Falcon. Falcon is an endpoint protection software. Specifically, this Falcon Prevent software is CrowdStrike's antivirus program, which, as I understand it, is, compared to a traditional antivirus, much more effective. And of course, while we have all the different AI buzzwords here, it does seem like it works pretty well. Uh, it will deal with malware, file lists, and other types of attacks, and it is able to, using machine learning, sort of recognize the patterns in it. What happened is, a, and according to Kevin Beaumont, and I've tried, I've tried seeing if anyone will send me the kernel driver so we can maybe take a look at it, but to my best understanding, what happened is they sent out an update that was entirely defective. They actually sent out a not valid kernel driver and try to install it, which causes a blue screen or a bug check, if you want the technical term, on Windows. And it shows that this driver caused it. So, of course, blue screens. The problematic file has been reverted. So if you did not connect your system to the internet after this time, you will not be affected. And unsupported versions of Windows are not affected. And of course, uh, other operating systems that probably don't use the software are also not affected. So they identified a content deployment related to this issue and reverted it and workaround steps for individuals. You can go into safe mode. I saw John Hammond pointing this out quite quickly. And you could use safe mode and you could simply delete the driver. And here's what you could do if you had a VDI setup. And even on, even on AWS, this has happened. And then if you had BitLocker, it makes everything just a bit trickier. So my obvious question is, how did this happen? Like, the only way this can conceivably happen is if they're shipping out kernel driver updates without checking it, which is just chronically unresponsible. And if we look over at the statement, I think this is a pretty bad statement. So CrowdStrike is actively working with customers impacted by a defect found in a single content update for Windows hosts. Mac and Linux hosts are not impacted. This is not a security incident or a cyber attack. No, this is a colossal incompetence incident. The issue has been identified, isolated, and a fix has been deployed. We refer customers to the support portal for the latest updates, and we will continue to provide complete and continuous updates on our website. We further recommend organizations ensure they're communicating with CrowdStrike through official channels. Okay. So now it's just a matter of cleaning up the mess they made. Uh, you should... You sound like we should say sorry to you. Never push updates on Friday. We screwed up and we are sorry. And as a result, of course, people working in IT at these companies are going to be working overtime, probably into the weekend, to fix this mess. And here is from Troy Hunt uh, documenting all of the things that have happened. Unfortunately, Windows is used in a lot of very critical functions. And as a result, given the software is generally used to try and make it resemble a secure operating system, these types of things keep happening. So here we go. Worldwide, Sky News went offline. Airports across the world have been hit by chaos. Apparently in China, there have been uh, a bunch of, mo most companies just said, all right, go home early. And here is Game Director. Okay. So th their systems were taken down. And in India and all of these different companies, uh, their systems have been taken offline. These banks, this telecom company, 365, apparently had issues, but I think that was mostly a false positive, as is AWS, where it only affected Windows servers on AWS. And here it seems that the defective driver even made it onto a plane. And here's the airports, a bunch of blue screens. Now for these embedded systems, I, I genuinely can't understand uh, what the reason for using such a a heavy operating system as opposed to a very minimalist embedded operating system that doesn't contain all of the services and vulnerabilities. Here is sort of how you can try and fix it if you rename or delete the kernel driver. 911, emergency services are out in several states. The Sydney Metro is down. There's some office worker in the Philippines. And the whole office has gone out. And here is uh, an explanation of what an end 
point response software does. Of course, they, yeah, they have to auto-update, and they operate in the notorious kernel mode. So it's just like the discourse about kernel-level anti-cheat, except the anti-cheat vendors have actually been more responsible here, not pushing out a completely invalid driver. So the obvious question continues to be, and nobody seems to know the answer to that, why? Why did they put a driver that would have a 100% failure rate? Because if the driver is just invalid, it wouldn't work for anybody. So if it was tested to any degree, it would not work. So that's kind of what I'm struggling to understand. The impact has been global and horrendous. Pretty much the Hong Kong airport, Swiss International Airlines, Spring, uh, Jeju Air in Korea, Singapore has had check-in issues banks in Africa, and thank you, Microsoft, for an early vacation. Well, they should have been thanking CrowdStrike. I'm actually surprised, given the amount of geopolitical scares that an American cybersecurity company is as popular as it is in China, but I guess it is. It probably won't be anymore. This will only reinforce the idea that they need to be more self-reliant. In India, they've managed to adapt quite well, but still a big screw-up, and the NHS in England has also been affected, which is terrible. These surgeries, which rely on this, were impacted, and even the London Stock Exchange, which the exchange worked, but the website didn't. Taxis were down, and uh, payment cards pretty much everywhere have been affected, at least uh, in North America, because all of this happened overnight. Uh, unless you're, like, at an airport, you're probably okay. And I find this one of uh, Canada's state broadcaster being impacted especially funny, because if we go to the marketing page for CrowdStrike, uh, we actually see a massive testimonial from the CBC, so uh, maybe they should take that back. Yeah, see, CBC consolidates security with CrowdStrike. The Falcon platform has allowed us to consolidate our security toolbox. It yields big savings for us and allows us to focus. When an alert hits the Falcon platform, we're able to address it without being distracted by the tools. We've been more than delighted with CrowdStrike until they took everything down. And if you go, okay, not on this page, but if we go on the home page, we do now see this red alert banner that takes us to this update page, and this was posted just 30 minutes ago. We are working to provide comprehensive and continuous updates with our global customers as quickly as possible. Below is the latest tech alert. Here is how you can fix this, if it's not fixing itself. It's profoundly annoying because I, I don't know any way of automating booting hundreds or thousands of endpoints into safe mode to delete a faulty kernel driver. They, they might just go because a lot of enterprises will work in such a way where the important data is on uh, Active Directory and the workstations can just be re-imaged without significant loss. So I imagine a lot of them will just go with that method. So that is going to be all for this video. Just kind of a bit of, bit of news. Incredible oopsie on CrowdStrike's part. I, it'll be interesting to see what happens, whether this is a killing blow or does a lot of damage to them or if they're easily able to come back. That's all for now. Bye.